drive a million miles just to get away Oh, I'm moving along at the speed of sound I know there's something out there with Ben Edwards live here in Studio Q. What's the name of that one, uh, Ben? I'll let you have a swig of water first before yeah, I start sure. with the heavy Thank questions, you, you know. That's, uh, the song's called Hello Highway. <laughs> Hello Highway. Is that a new one or is that, uh, oh, that's the one that you've got. Is that the one that you have in the um, in the contest? In it the, is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's one for the for the CBC <laughs> search. <laughs> search like no, that's a great uh, that yeah. is a great contest. It's a great great sounding song there too. Yeah, thank you. Now is that that's a fairly recent one, isn't it? That's uh, um, that's actually one of the older ones that I have. I've had that kicking around for probably about four years now. Right. And uh, for whatever strange reason, didn't put it to tape until. No, oh. until this record, yeah. It's funny how it works like that, isn't it? You yeah, probably, there are always going to be some back there in the vault that. And then uh, they sort of new like it shine on them, and oh. yeah, no pun intended. Maybe it's a searchlight sometimes, mm. you know. Mm. <laughs> That's right. So originally from uh, from Truro, Truro, yeah. Do you live down here now, or did you? You didn't I do, and I kind of bounce back and forth uh, between here and Truro. The rest of my band lives in Truro, right? So who are those guys? Uh, Matt Eisen is the bass player, and Gary Creelman is the drummer. Mm -hmm. and it's a three piece. Oh, that's, there's a lot of room in the music that way, isn't it? If it's a three-piece, yeah, everybody a lot, can... Yeah, you can sort of break it down a little bit more or, or add, take away. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little more dynamic room, maybe. Right, right. Uh, how long have you been doing this? How, where, where did I've the been, journey start for I've you? I've been playing live for about five years now, and I didn't really... It was just a hobby at first, and over the last couple of years, I've started to take it a little more serious. But uh, I've always played guitar all through school, and then just... One day it clicked, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's great, though. So, who who did you listen to when you were, when you were coming up? Like, I was a huge when I first started playing guitar. I was a massive Blue Rodeo fan. I still am. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, learning those their songs is pretty simple chord progressions and and you know and melodies and whatnot. And I've I've listened to a lot of different stuff. Dylan, obviously, like everybody has, and and Zeppelin, and and uh, other than that, just a mix of everything. What I find amazing is when I get newer bands coming in, not just East Coast bands, but um, bands like the Glorious Sons and, and One Bad Son from across the country. You ask them the same question. They're just young guys. And you ask, well, who did yeah. you listen to when you were... Oh, we listen to a lot of Matt Mace. We listen to a lot of Plaskett true, yeah. and stuff like, like that. And, and it's a, amazing. A lot of East Coast stuff. Yeah. Has made such a huge dent, not just here in the Maritimes. But um, yeah, it, it's it's amazing. I love hearing the different answers of what people listen to and got them inspired on that stuff. How many yeah. uh, how many albums do you, do you have out now? Uh, technically, I have two. One solo album, and then uh, the two guys I'm in a band with. We had a, a blues rock band before called Black Rock Road, and we put out a four-track EP in 2012. And played with it a bit and didn't really do a lot with it, but the solo thing definitely takes a little more uh, of my time, I guess, than that did. 
yeah, yeah. Why is that? Like, why is uh, you just just go? Everybody's got different schedules and stuff. Yeah, like that. and I can I can sort of uh, I can push it a little bit harder if it's just me doing it, or you know, if we put a band together and. It is kind of tough juggling everybody around, and oh, we can't practice this week. No, we can't do a gig yeah. that week. We have to, you know. Yeah, that's that's the tough part about being in bands, I guess. Yeah, it's, it is kind of. God, uh, do you feel like doing another one, or should we play something off the uh, off the CD? We I should, could do we, another one if if uh, if you'd like. Yeah. I love that Epiphone. That's got a great tone this, to it, doesn't it? That is this a sturdy is, yeah, ass I, guitar. I lucked out with this guitar. It's uh, it's hasn't let me down yet. So yeah, yeah, this is my main. Epiphone too, like that's uh, th those are sturdy, aren't they? Like those are really good. Uh, yeah, and it's not a high end guitar by any means. I mean, it's like a five hundred dollar guitar, but it it sounds much more than that. All right, which is great. Yeah. What do you feel like playing? Uh, I'm gonna play a new song actually that I wrote um, a couple of months ago. It's it's I keep telling everybody it's like my protest <laughs> hippie protest. Song. Oh God, well good. We don't get enough of those. No, I mean, there's I a know. lot of stuff to protest, but nobody comes out with any any decent protest. That's songs uh, right now. that's what I've been saying. Yeah. Well, what uh, what what's uh, what's on your mind with this one this one i guess is just about um there's a lot of political things going on at the moment that should or should not be be happening in my opinion so i wrote this song sort of around that okay ben yeah. edwards on route 104 one moment please there we go that, the, get, nice job oh that was it i thought that was it Started something you cannot define. Do you get the sinking feeling all the time? Watch the clouds above you darken in the sky. Tide will never, never keep you dry. What you've done Whispers on the breeze Carry your secrets And your deceit Rivers rising fast Leaving nothing in its path I'm not saying You should run I'm just saying Look what you've done
Route 104 with Ben Edwards, and uh, look what you've done. Now that's uh, that, that's a new one right there. That's not. Is that on the uh, the, the latest? Uh, is is that on Bright Light Catastrophe? No, I actually the... I wrote that probably uh, around the same time I was recording, but decided to leave it off. Yeah, it wasn't next quite, time. Quite next time. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, next yeah. one. You got to have something for the next. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Any plans to get into the mm -hmm. uh, the studio? I mean, the the new one came out uh, kind of November ish. Uh, recorded at Coda Pop Studios. Yeah, with Doug over there and. Yeah, so who's, uh, are, are, are any, any, uh, you want to get back in soon? Or yeah, I, I have songs ready, uh, and I'm itching. I mean, I'd spend every day in the studio if I could, if I could afford to, or ah. <laughs> had my own. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get back in and try and do um, a record a year at least, maybe even more than that if I can. Right. Was, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Uh, what have you got coming up in the next little bit? We, can we catch you live anywhere? I'm Easter doing... weekend now. Any any plans? Yeah, for, I'm uh... playing the Seahorse uh, Friday night with Alert the Medic, and uh, I think there's a few other bands on the bill, uh, and I've got some stuff around the Maritimes. Other than that, um, where am I next weekend? Any Ganesh? I have a date there, um, Saturday. Mm. Where do you play up there? Uh, there's a split crow. There's there. a split crow yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So playing there and um, New Glasgow Friday night at the Thistle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Thistle. What is the? Is that a bar too, or is it that is, a? Uh... Yeah, it's a it's a sports bar there. They've been doing live music for I don't know, maybe the last like I'm gonna say ten years, maybe. Right, right. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool little spot. And everybody loves the live music too, don't they? Especially when you get into the smaller places like that, they just they they just yeah, love it. They, yeah, they eat it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of your neck of the woods too, isn't it? Up in that, uh, you know, sort of. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's still fun getting out there and, and playing live too, isn't it? Like that's uh, such a such a great thing. Yeah, I don't, and I don't, um, you know, I'd do this five nights a week if I could, as as I mean, most musicians would, but yeah. but yeah, more more shows the better. Really. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, well, yeah. thanks for thanks for coming in, man. Good. Yeah. Uh, good. Thanks we, for uh, having me. We did this. Yeah. yeah. This is great. Uh, Bright light catastrophe is the the latest from Ben Edwards. And um, where where can we get you on the web? What's the best place to, uh, to hear anywhere you? really that music is available? Mm -hmm. uh, it's on iTunes, Google Play. Uh, it's on my website and also through Bandcamp, BenEdwards.Bandcamp.com. Okay. Uh, and any other online retailer, actually. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Uh, what do you want to play on the on the way out here? Something from the something from the the album. From the album, let's yeah. go with uh, "Alone." Yeah, first track. What can you tell us about that? It's at the top of the. It's right at the top of the playlist there. That's number, yeah. number one on the album. So that's this, gonna, is, this is perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, I wrote that song one time while sitting watching Apollo thirteen. So I have Tom Hanks to thank for for this song. Yeah, his people will be in touch. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Ben Edwards on Route One Hundred Four. at the stars All I see So far from home It's in my dreams The silence of 